Hello YouTube, my name is Travis, I'm Sarah, and this is Bacon and Backpacking. Here's a preview of what's coming up in today's episode. Look at this monster. I think it's about that time. Do you want some fossils? I want some fossils. Welcome back everybody. Uh, it's been a while. It's been probably a month, right, since Dolly sod. So yeah, it feels like I haven't been backpacking in a long time. Uh, you'll notice a couple things a little bit different today. Got a little mini fishing rod on my pack. There's a pond right along the trail, so might stop, do a little bit of fishing. There's a dam, and apparently there's a bunch of fossils there, so maybe we'll try to uh, dig up a couple fossils or something as well, too. Uh, pretty short trip. Uh, I think it's going to be like 12, 13 miles round trip, so we're just going to throw in a couple of miscellaneous activities that we typically don't do backpacking and, you know, see what this trail system's like out here. If anybody knows what these are, put it in the comments down below. Sarah, you might know. Mm -mm. Sarah doesn't know either. Hi, Mr. B. Well, hey, kind of cool so far. Walking through a uh, meadow of flowers. Pretty, Sarah? So pretty. <laughs> lots of bees. Yeah, lots of bees, but no, nah, cool. Good change of uh, pace for, for an Ohio backpacking trail. Instead of just, you know, dense jungle basically uh it's pretty cool uh we're really close to a road and a lot of people's homes uh we'll eventually get away from those uh right now we don't really feel like we're you know out in the woods but at least it's pretty nice day too All right, well, first mile was actually very beautiful. A whole bunch of flowers, bees, butterflies. It's a pretty cool way to start a trail. Um, I haven't been on a backpacking trail in Ohio that started like that, so now we're getting back into some of that dense Ohio woods, so stay tuned and we'll see what we uncover. So a little bit about this trail. Uh, it's actually a, a 28 mile trail, I believe. Uh, and it runs through two different metro parks. So there's like a loop in the one park and then a loop in another park. And uh, basically if you want to do the whole trail, there's like four miles of road walking uh, through, I believe, Germantown that connects the two trails between the two parks. Um, there's some hassles out here. Uh, you have to get a permit. You have to pay, you know, it's only 10 bucks, but you got to get a permit. You have to tell them, you know, what campsite you're staying at. Uh, you know, give them all your information, your license plate number, make, model your vehicle, color. Uh, I think your driver's license number. Tell them, like, what parking lot you're going to park at. So there's a lot of logistics. It's definitely different than, you know, what I would typically consider or want to do, you know, backpacking. But so far, it's actually like a pretty cool, pretty cool trail. So um, right now, I'm definitely not, you know, regretting the decision. This is something different. We'll see how it pans out, you know. Allegedly a 0% chance of rain today, but I'll tell you what got a lot darker There's some pretty dark clouds and uh, the winds blowing and it's cooling down so 
we shall see. Uh, <laughs> I don't feel like I've ever seen 0% chance of rain in a forecast before in Ohio, so it would only make sense <laughs> if it started to rain. Give. Give. All right, we do have a short road walk now. It's not too far, but we'll hop back on the trail and we'll be walking along the uh, along the creek here. And I, I feel rain. Do you feel that rain? No. <laughs> I just felt a couple raindrops. Here we go. Well. We've been in the not too interesting uh, part of the Ohio backpacking experience for the last mile or so, but we're closing in on the pond, so we'll see what the situation is there. I think it's probably about a mile away. Uh, see if we can maybe do some fishing there, stop, pull up the chair, uh, you know, eat some lunch, and then uh, head on into camp. Ran into the Metro Police out here in the woods. Now we got a dinosaur. Trying to reconstruct this crime scene. I don't know if the police were chasing after the dinosaur or like what was what was going on, but well, we found the pond. Might have to throw a couple of throw a couple of casts in. I can see him. He's this big. You see him? There's two of them. They're like this big. Got one now. Look at this tiny little guy. Look at this monster. Pond monster. Alright, we'll put him back. Okay. Tiny little guy. Well, lots of fish, uh, but they're all about two to three inches long. Uh, a bunch of little baby bluegills in here, so uh, nothing too exciting. I figured we'd put the one on camera, but uh, not too many monsters around right now, and we got to get going, so. Pretty view though. Yeah, it's getting kind of late in the day. It's about 5:30. Uh, we spent I don't know, probably over an hour back there at the uh, back there at the pond, just kind of chilling, uh, catching some baby fish and whatnot. Well, we must be going the right direction. It's Twin Valley Trail, so. All right, well, off we go. About a mile and a half from camp. Not sure what this is, and the lighting's not the best, but it looks like a, maybe like a, used to be a fireplace here, or something, might have been an old cabin, or 
stone structure or something. There's uh, these pieces of metal stuff back here too. Yeah, not sure, but that kind of looks like a fireplace to me. All right, well, got our final water fill up in. Got to try the pond water. The pond water was good, man. The uh, creek water is a little, uh, tastes a little bit like dirt, but. All right, well, we're probably five minutes from camp, so we're gonna climb up out of here and go set up. <laughs> we have bacon. A uh, little DIY instead of just spending a bunch of money on freeze-dried meals. Got uh, loaded baked potatoes, instant potatoes from Walmart. It's like a buck, and then I don't remember what brand this bacon is, but it's like the ready bacon. So uh, I got a whole bunch of bacon in here, so it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get Sarah a backpacking chair here. She's lounging in the hammock eating food. What do you got? It's a mountain cow's beef stroganoff. Well, hopefully there's no bears since you're eating in the hammock, because that would be unfortunate, but... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. You smell like fish, so... Yeah, it's true. I do have fishy hands from the massive uh, trophy bluegill that I caught earlier. Bye. <laughs> All right, as you guys can tell, we we're at Campsite C. Been posted up for a little while. I figured uh, just give you a little campsite tour. Uh, not much to see here. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately for Sarah, there's not a single flat spot uh, in Campsite C, and this is it. There's no, like, chairs, seats, or even logs or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I've been just sitting in the hammock kind of chilling, and uh, she's been sitting in the chair zero. But, yeah, I don't think I have too much more to record tonight. Uh, sun's getting ready to go down. I think it's kind of coming up on about 9 o'clock, so we're just going to kind of sit here and chill and uh watch the sunset and uh probably get an early night's sleep man i'm beat uh i know sarah's beat too it's just the heat and the humidity especially so i mean it was only like mid 80s today but when we first got out of the car i think it was 98 percent humidity so but yeah this is home Is it alive? <laughs> Guess not. I think it's about that time. <laughs> uh, quick breakfast today. I just had a cliff bar. I've eaten like half the food I brought with me, <laughs> which is going to be a big mistake for today, but. Humidity just like wipes it out of you, make, makes you not want to eat and stuff. So uh, we are packed up and we are Oscar Mike. All right, just moving along. I think we're gonna stop, uh, stop at the dam. I didn't really get any good shots of it yesterday because we ended up going on the, the wrong side of it. it. Wasn't really anything to see. Uh, the other side of the dam is where supposedly you're allowed to look for the fossils and stuff. So I think we'll briefly check that out, see if we can find anything, and then uh, make our way back to the car. Got a little swampy through here. <clears throat> a little sketchy too. <laughs> Found our way to the Amazon. Made it back to our water source. We filled that up yesterday, so make our last fill up for the walk back, and then we will be good to go. All right. Well, today we're going to walk over the bridge that we walked under yesterday and uh, get over here to the other side of the dam and see if we can find some fossils. You want some fossils? 
want some fossils. <laughs> okay. We want some fossils, so stay tuned. Well, we were here for like a minute and we found something. I'm trying to focus it. Yeah, that's definitely a like imprint of a fossil. Something was there. It's a pretty big hunk. Uh, I mean, I'll take it back if you want. It's whatever. I'll carry it back. You're allowed to. Uh, you're allowed to take three. They say. And another one right there. Where my pinky is. This is a good one. We got a bunch of them on here, and this one's small enough that it can, uh, it's not gonna be a pain to carry it back. So, man, we were down here for five minutes and we, we found some good ones. Look at them, babe. Look, look, look. There's a whole line of them. <laughs> All swimming out. Well, that was pretty successful. We got a good specimen. I think we're going to uh, eat some food and then get on out of here. I think we're in a uh, pretty old forest. There are some very sizable trees down here. Way bigger than a Sarah. Kind of to my point. There's another monster beech tree that Sarah's walking past. I've seen about four or five of these suckers now. They're just enormous. I'm fascinated by these things. You generally don't get to see um, old growth forests like this very often. My God, this thing's huge. You generally don't get to see old growth forests like this because of all the logging that gets done in Ohio, but pretty impressive out here. here got a little pond uh, looks like a pretty uh, looks like a malaria pond <laughs> and not much of a not very aesthetic of a pond <laughs> All right, guys, we're about a half mile from the car, so I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. Uh, overall, not a not a bad trail for Ohio in the summer. Uh, you know, the kind of like the benchmark for Ohio backpacking trails is Zaleski. Like everybody loves Zaleski. Uh, I would say this place had more views. It was much more diverse as far as like the landscape. You know, there's like three different ponds. Um, you know, a creek, a dam, we got some fossils, did some fishing. So honestly, for, you know, a trail system that was in a metro park, honestly wasn't bad. Uh, camping situation wasn't my favorite and the, you know, permits and paying money and, you know, all that stuff wasn't really up my alley. But overall though, um, I'd come back, you know, wasn't, wasn't too bad at all. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching another video. Uh, if you're liking the content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more and we'll see you in the next one.